Hello. <clears throat> this is still trying. Um, I thought I'd uh, maybe show you a little bit about lattices. Um, what I'm doing is I, I'm um, trying to get you to use different things. We start with shape keys. That's the easiest one to try to figure out. You know, you move the mesh and there's your shape. Um, the other deformation, the two things you already know about bones. You put the bone in, that moves the mesh. The deformation cages you need to learn. Um, you got basically two of them in um, Blender. The one uh, is mesh deform cage. You make it. You make, you make a very low poly mesh, and then you hook that to something like your bones and move it around. You bind that mesh to the mesh under it, and it moves that mesh. The other one is a lattice, and we don't really talk much about lattices because a lot of people don't use them because they're kind of a strange uh, creature in Blender. And um, it, 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 it is really nothing more than a deformation cage and you would use that to make uh, overall deformations you know cuff and cheek out raising eyebrows that type of thing it's much easier than bones um, as you go along on your shape keys uh, you're gonna find that uh, you keep putting in shape keys to um, do different things and that's fine however you start combining them and I'll give you an example on phoneme although this is not really for phonemes but um, let's say I have an A and an O and I do those on shape keys okay no problem until I put A and O together real fast because it goes from basis to A back to basis to A on the interpolation so you get a blip so usually you solve that you stick a, another one in you say well instead of using the bases I'll use A now I go A to O well pretty soon you've got thousands of shape case well not really just kind of an exaggeration there but uh, You get into a management issue with shape keys, naming them, and, and I'm sure you've probably already done that, and especially if you're new, you, you, you do that, or if you're new to Blender. Yeah, you can always use bones. Um, you start using bones, then you start getting a little more complex, because you're like, well, I need to move this mesh, wrinkle my skin up, or something like that. How do I do that with a bone? Well, you start well, I just start adding different things like stretch to that type of thing. Now you've got a very complex rig. Um, and the rigs get real complex the, the more you kind of work with others. Now some of the rigs like uh, Lynn Rig, Juan Pablo, very, very bright individual, very, very helpful individual as well. Um, one of the best around from, in, in my opinion. Um, it's complex rig. Man, if you change it, you better know what you're doing. If you make your own rig and you're going through and you're animating along and all of a sudden you say, oh, I need to do that. Uh, I gotta go back to my rig. Are you gonna remember everything? Probably not. So you're really almost starting over. Especially if some time lapses in. So I'm not going to be talking about that. There's another alternative, and, and th these are the deformed cages. And I'm not going to talk about um, the mesh deformed cage. There's enough stuff out there. The lattices is barely touched on. So I'm going to just bring a model into Blender. Uh, the one you see there, I got that one from Make Human. It's <laughs> when you fire up Make Human. <laughs> That's the model. I didn't even change it at all. <laughs> so I brought that in. And um, then what I did is I, I, I just added a couple of bones so I can move the head. There's several bones in there. And I made a couple controls. One for the head, one for the jaw. And um, 
what we're going to do then is uh, let's see if we can get some overall things here using a lattice as opposed to using um, a bone or a shape key. That's really what, what this whole thing is about here. So without further ado, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at uh, what I got here. I'm set up here in edit mode to start with. Let me get back to object mode so you can take a look. And, uh, all I've got is a control bone in here to rotate the head and uh, a bone to uh, move the jaw down. The, the reason I did that is if you're doing lips, boy, you know, you just pop something in there real quick and that helps you in weight painting. So let's say I want to move around this part, this cheek over here. I can do that probably easiest with lattice. So let's bring a lattice in there. I'm going to put my cursor up there and then, you know, center it. Those are your cursor transforms. So um, you get back in object mode here and away we go. So we go in we add this strange little thing called lattice. And I say strange because, uh, well, a lattice is the almost the opposite of bones in an armature. In an armature, you go into edit mode and you position your bones where you want, and then everything's hunky dory. In a lattice, it's the opposite. You position it in object mode. You go into edit mode to hook things to it to make it move. So. Um, don't need to go too in depth in that. You can read the manual. Uh, it's not the best in the world. So anyway, we got a lattice in here. Let's name it something just to keep things simple. How about lattice face. All right, that's our lattice. Our bones. I want to make sure my bones. Uh, I probably have the display set for in front. I don't want that because when I position the bones for the lattice. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to use bones. We're going to use bones to move it. Much easier to do. It's not hard to do. But the lattice itself doesn't have to be a cage, oddly enough. Everybody makes it a cage because that's the default. If you don't need it. you got two ways to define it. In the lattice itself, you can define vertex groups. If you flip on the lattice thing down here, you'll see that. You scoot down, you see vertex groups. You could say only use these vertex groups. Okay, and those groups, uh, I'm going to turn the lattice around, it's still a cube, and pop real quick in edit mode, and like there is a vertex, and there is a vertex. Okay, you can select those, add them to a vertex group, and say, lattice, when I move you, just use these. Whatever the influence these have on it. That's one way to do it. That's not the way I'm going to do it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paste some weight in an area that I want to deform. Not the whole head. I want the whole head. I just want a little bit around the cheek and then I'll use weight painting to, to do it out. Now I don't know how good you are in weight painting. The better you get, the easier this becomes. It's just a simple fact of life. So anyway, we're in object mode on this uh, lattice thing. Let's parent it to this armature. And let's go to this uh, head bone and parent it to that. And we'll just parent it to the bone. Okay? That way, when I move the lattice, or move the bone, move the head, the lattice moves. When we get done, we'll just make the lattice non-rendable or non-seeable. But the bones will be there. Okay, let's switch back to object mode here. Grab that lattice and let's size it. I'm, I'm in object mode and not native mode. If you do this in native mode, you're dead. Because then your lattice is messed up and you can't get it back. If you do manage to go through all that process and then you hook it to your mesh, it's going to take that scaling on the mesh and it's going to mess you up. <laughs> so anyway, let's just scale this to kind of fit the face. 
about that we'll kind of move it down here all I'm doing is just the normal stuff here how about like that maybe make it a little bit wider okay that should fit the face now like I said we've got this cube thing I don't want a cube thing so I'm, I'm going up here to the resolution I'm V is uh, Y it's X Y Z use UVW because we're talking about the individual lattice now and not the coordinates out in the globe it would still be UVW the local coordinates no matter what orientation I have on that object you can read about that it's one of the mysteries <laughs> it's a convention that got started way back when and everybody does it so anyway change this Y coordinate one. Now I'm going to flip this around and you see we now just have one line and I'm going to move this out just a little bit maybe eh, just right there in front of the nose a little bit that way the influence uh, makes sense. Okay <clears throat> wherever these lines intersect that's the vertex so let's chop this uh, lattice up to fit our face kind of okay there's one so I can move the middle ver vertexes and I'm gonna put maybe five here and you can chop this up however you want to now where the lines cross that's your vertex point so is that where I want mine does that help me move how about one more does that help me move my face around? I'd have one kind of at the edge. Uh, I'm looking at my cheek there. Well, maybe not. How about that one? Yeah, that looks good. See that area right there? Maybe that's the area I want to move and I'll kind of grab a little bit of the nose and maybe this one here for the cheek. I can add more in. But let's say, okay, that's it. Okay. I got my lattice now one thing I want you to do and this is kind of stupidity but I'm going to pop in a couple shape keys that's a shape key on the lattice and that way if I'm in edit mode and I move the thing around I can always get back to my basis if I don't do that I need to know exactly where that vertex was the location and you see we've got one two three four five six one two three four five we got 30 of them and I cannot remember where each of those individual 30 vertexes belong now I can move it but I'll never get it back to where, I, where it started with so anyway put the shape key in that way if you pop into like if you pop into edit mode here and you you kind of move this thing and you pop back it's, 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 it's going to be on the basis it doesn't stick there and you have to move it back yourself because remember once you assign this it's there now we're going to take this lattice and we're going to tell the mesh use this lattice now there's a couple ways to do it one you could select the mesh and then select the the lattice then control P parent it lattice that's all there is to it those those points now will actually move the mesh um, that's one way to do it um, there's another way that you can do it we can define areas of the mesh to impact lattice and that's how I'm gonna do it okay so let's let's go ahead and uh, uh, go into your mesh and we'll just do this uh, doesn't really matter the how you do it uh, and we'll just add that lattice modifier let's say lattice and it comes down here and it shows your lattice which is called lattice maybe we should name the lattice might be a good idea. I'll go back up here and name it. And we'll call it how about face. Really original. <laughs> so now we have uh, 
lattice on the face. We don't have a vertex group in our strength of one. So if we move this lattice around now, you'll see that it impacts some of the size, but maybe I don't want that ear. Um, here's the one we had zeroed in. Well, that's not too bad, actually. You can see see it has a good impact there. So you may say, hey, that's okay. I don't need to go any further. You know, here, let's see if this will kind of move the nose around a little. Yeah. You're, you're set to go. And this one will move the nose around a little. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, can we scrunch the forehead up and down? Sure. And you can resize that lattice. I delete it and start over again. It's much easier. You're set to go. You know, all you'd want to do at this point is add bones. But, of course, nothing in life is that simple. So, we want to make it a little more complex. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't need the tutorial. <laughs> What we want to do is just paint an area here on the on the mesh itself. So I'm selecting the mesh. I'm going down to the vertex groups here. I'm going to create a new one. Let's lock these here because I don't want to mess those up. That's what those locks help you do. That way you can't add and subtract from them. And let's add a vertex group. And we'll call this lattice face. Whatever. And we'll just paint the area that we want this to impact. Say that would be that. And let's say I'm going to put one bone for the forehead and one for the cheek. Or I'm just going to do the cheek or something like that. You can figure out how to do this after we show you. Um, you're just going to pop into weight paint mode and paint one. Now I have uh, certain overlays selected here if you'll notice I, 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 I want to see the active when I paint um, you could show wing car tours too well that's you can read about that from wing painting but anyway so what I want to do is just kind of paint an area and say this is the area that I want the lattice to impact that's what we're going to do. This first lattice. You can use all kinds of lattices. Um, so let's do that. I go up here, and I, 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 it doesn't matter which brush. I, you know, there's all kinds of brushes there. I don't even care. I just pick one. I, just, and I'm going to change the blend to whatever I want. I want to add? Let's add a full strength, which will be reddish. I got the wire turned on uh, just so I can see the topology. It, the more you weight paint, the more you probably say, well, I'll, I'll paint that because you're really weighting the vertices and that's again where the lines cross. And I'm going to click off this, make sure that I can paint on this. That was on, that shows the vertices to paint and you select them and paint on those and that one you select them and paint on the on the um, faces. All right, so well, we definitely want a little bit on the eyebrow, so we'll we'll do that. We want a little bit on the cheek, and we'll do that. All right, I could just stop right there. Do I want a little move, move, move a little bit on the chin? We're not going to do the lips here. Let's let's do a little on the chin too. Might want to scrounge that thing around a little bit, and maybe pull this down a little. I'm trying to get a. These are the areas. Uh, the areas I'm not painted won't move. That's the way that works. So maybe maybe uh, let's let's use a. Uh, uh, Maybe a half, about 50% weight, 0.5. I can't get my weight palette. Usually I use a weight palette, but I can't get the thing to work yet on 2.8. And let's, let's put, put this area. 
the the way painting is nice because you know these are the areas that are impacted whoops uh, maybe I want to mix mix blend if I can find it right there it is and this will just be half no matter what I paint so it's just going to affect it half whatever red is okay and I, I, I do have that let's see how about we want to scrunch this a little bit and on, this is not a weight painting a tutorial you can go go through and do all that good stuff a little bit here a little bit there and maybe turn it down even a little bit around the eyes and so we move the eyes a little bit as we move move this around and you can have different groups that's maybe crank it up just a little bit more and just move this and the idea is that you're putting a gradient on here oh, why don't you use the gradient brush too no, it's too fancy for this little tutorial I don't like that I like that better that way and you see all I'm doing is just putting a little gradient in there alright that's probably enough for now uh, we're gonna move that most and let's let's Let's, let's put this out and maybe let's see how that scrunches around so you just pop out of uh, let me paint mode grab your lattice go into edit mode and uh, move these things around see what that one does yeah okay and this is the cheek we were interested in. Alright, see that? That's okay. Kind of scrunch your eye up a little. Eh, eh. How about this? Can we puff this out a little bit? Well, it's still picking up the air, so that's just almost too much. You may not want to use that, that point. This one here, remember I said that you can see it's, it's picking up that we haven't assigned a vertex group yet but uh, we just delete that shape key to get back I mean you know that's why we made them so we could do that so let's assign on our uh, lattice uh, that particular vertex group we just created okay and now now we'll do the same thing we'll come back here I'm going to delete uh, the shape key and create another one so I'm going to delete that one so it goes away and then create another one in case I mess up again All right. so now let's see what we got remember now I said we'll just use what I when I uh, weight paint it. Alright, see that? Now you got a nice deformation there. And how about this on the cheek? Yeah. How about uh, right around the lips there? I'm not moving the lips, remember we didn't do that one. How about a little bit on the nose? Just wrinkle a little bit. So if you want to wrinkle up the nose. Now if you wanted the nose to move, you could kind of, you know, just pop back in uh, white paint but a little weight on there in fact let's do that just for the hell of it and let's put just a little bit we don't want it uh, moving all over hell so we just want a little bit weight what do we got here Five, that's a lot when you get to weight painting you get down to 0 .01, 0 0.02 and bones you don't need that quite so much here all right, let's see what that did to your, uh, whoops, lattice.
All right, see, now we're moving. Like we try to move your nose for I don't know, a lot of people can't move their nose. So that's kind of unnatural. But now what this is going to do is pick up a little bit more of the nose when you use that. All right, that doesn't look too bad. So you say, well, I like that. I want to use that for animation, but you don't want to animate this thing. With that, you want to animate this thing with bones. So we're going to take that lattice and we're going to take those points. We're going to hook them together on a bone. That way, if you link your armatures and stuff, it'll still work. Um, it gets kind of crazy with you if you don't do it. Hopefully, the audio's picking up. You know, I never know. And if if my dogs start barking, I'll shut this down real fast because. So anyway, what we want to do is just add a bone. Uh, so we go back into our armature and uh, let's just add a bone maybe right there. So, okay, that looks like a pretty good spot. And I'm in edit mode on my armature. So I'm going to add that bone and just grab that, just shrink it down here. Remember, bones in edit mode. All right, so we got a bone. Bone one. Let's uh, name this something useful. Um, how about what is that? Cheek. Cheek. Dot L. All right, and uh, take a look. See what it's pairing it to. Uh, it's not pairing to anything. Let's pairing it to the head. Uh, controller. All right, let's make sure that's going to work. So you just pop back into pose mode and make sure that your bone's going to move around real nicely. Yeah, it's going to move pretty good. Okay, it goes with that. Now, one thing I would do when you're doing your armatures is um, I'd select that bone. I'd make a bone group color. And um, you see that bone group thing there? Let's make one. And you can make a color. Let's call it red. And let's call this face controls. And then when you select the bone and pose, you just assign it. And now you got a red one. And that's slick. So I know um, how that works. So if you if you don't have anything selected, you could still see that one. Whereas this one, well, that one is just a standard black. You can make it something different if you want. Anyway, so anyway, now the question is: I've got my bone, got my armature, uh, I've got my lattice. How do I tell the lattice? Hey. Let's select the lattice. I'm right-clicking too. I'm, I'm just old school, but you know I'll switch over to left-clicking and get used to that. But yeah, you're better off doing left-click. The right-click's going to go away someday. I think. Maybe not. <laughs> A lot of us old schoolers still around. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got my lattice. If you look at the modifiers in the lattice, click. It's got some. This little thing called the hooks for what we want. Well, we're going to hook it to the armature object, and we want to hook it to that uh, chick dot L. Okay. Now there's other things you can do. You can say, well, hook it a lot or hook a lot, and that's going to affect how the bone reacts. Right now it's 100%. So wherever I move that bone, that vertex is going to fly. That's what I want. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a look uh, again. Now what happens? Okay, nothing, because we haven't assigned it yet. And we, we do that in edit mode. So we'll pop, jump over to the lattice. We've got that hook. We'll select that point. Now, see this thing down here? That's how you assign that particular vertex. 
you can assign this one, you can assign one, you can assign three, you can assign five. So if you got a whole area you want to move around, you just assign them to that bone. And the way you do that is you say assign. And I always reset this thing. Um, we got smooth. Uh, this is your like your proportional editing. Pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, we go with smooth. Smooth's okay. And your your fall off is it the same or different? Some smooth. You know, you can read about that in your proportional editing. Okay, now let's see if we're we're working how we're supposed to. We'll go back in here. We'll kind of move this around. Okay, now that's part of your armature. That's how I would set up your lattice. Look how nice that is. Effortless. A little bit of weight painting. A few minutes. Set that up. Now the first one's always hard. Now if you want to set another bone up, you just copy that, rename it, do the same thing. Um, if I want to move the lips, oh, I don't want to use this lattice. Put another lattice in there. Maybe we should do that. That way I can move the lips. Hey, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Well, let's kind of clean this up a little bit. Let's put our uh, lattice into uh, a different collection. So we can turn it off and on in the viewport. So we'll have a new, new collection. And we'll call that about lattice. Call it what you want. <laughs> I'm going to move it over there. And uh, you know, you just come come into uh, your view and just shut that baby off. But we still have this from the armature. See, we can still move that around. Well, that's not too bad. What if we want to snare up the lips? Oh, you're making all those shape keys that we told you. We never showed you this, did we? <laughs> okay. I'm going to open the mouth and that is just weight painting on that nothing nothing fancy uh, that you see on that that's so I can get into uh, weight paint the mouth okay so we know we're gonna we're gonna put a lattice in just for the mouth but it doesn't have to be a cube in fact, it doesn't even have to be a plane. It can be a line of lattice vertexes. Hey, that's the idea, because I can put that right across the line and just affect that area. So let's do that. Okay. Now, if your armature, if you clicked your armature, when you put your armature on your, your man there and you said, hey, you know, I clicked all these so it'll it'll stay there. Lattice, eh, I probably don't want to do it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But uh, let's wait paint an area called let's do let's do the upper lip and put another bone in there to control say a sneer. I want a sneer and I'm having trouble doing a weight paint on that with uh, shape keys because I've got man look at all the topology it just takes me forever to move all these vertices around ah let's use lattice something new and again I'm just going to center the thing oh you know something I'm, I'm really goofed up I forgot to I don't think it's going to matter the lattice I hope it's not anyway I didn't have my uh and you notice things as you go through the tutorial. I, I didn't have my mesh uh, transforms thing, but it, I don't think it's going to matter. And it is going to matter. Darn it. Got a minor, minor thing here. And anyway. Uh, let, let's paint an area. Yeah, 
I got my I got my zero zero one area transforms take care of I hope yeah zero zero one okay just get in the way paint that was a minor boo boo <laughs> okay there's that one so let's add another one we'll just add another another one here and we'll call this um, group here what do we want to call it that is upper lip okay upper lip so we can sneer can't really sneer very much so we don't need a lot of weight on this so let's take a look at what we're going to add here and we can just mix this a little bit and let's take a look and just paint a little area here remember we're just sneering this up a little bit up in the nose maybe and remember with blender it, 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 if you normalize those things it's going to be uh, that and I'm just going to kind of look inside here and see what I I did maybe maybe a little more strength on those right around the lips but maybe four some okay yeah I know the way painting is like exactly that I'm watching paint dry and uh, just really idiotic I did this just backwards of the other one. The other one I put the heavy weights on first and then uh, the light and this one I put the light on and put the heavy ones on second. There are all kinds of ways that we paint in there. Yeah, crank up a little bit more. Alright, when I crank that I want to impact that area. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. And how do I know that? done it enough. Alright, that looks good. Huh? Yeah. Alright, so get back into object mode. We're going to add another lattice. And um, check your cursor and make sure you're in the middle. And, um, nah, we're not quite, so let's put a zero in there. I like to put them right in there. I don't have to worry. Shift A, add a lattice. Okay, this is the same thing we did before. Except this time, I want to shrink this down to fit this face again. And you do this one in object mode. And you just scale it down here, but I'm going to... Okay, flip over here to last. And again, we want one. So take, take a look. And just grab that and move that up there. We've got two in this. I don't want two. Do I? I just want one. Okay, now the U, I've got one on each end. That's what that means. Two vertices. We've got four now. Okay. Go into edit mode. I don't know if you can here. I'll select them all. You can see them. One, two, three, four. So I got one there. Boy, that's about right. That's what I want to grab. That baby right there. Okay. At this point, parent the uh, this this is just kind of uh, uh, repeat what we did before. P the ball. Okay. Got that selected. Did that move around? Yeah. Okay. That's got it. Alright. Got that parented. Uh, at this point I'm gonna put in a couple uh, things on the lattice. 
get back in object mode let's select my lattice and uh, remember those shape keys in case we screw that up oh I didn't say screw up did I I'm sorry this is a public thing I hope no girls were no, no people all right so what we want to do now is go to our mesh tell it look I got another lattice Woo -hoo. and this one we probably want to select this and give it a name and let's call this lattice about upper lip No, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Select your mesh. And on there, we want to select that lattice object. And we want the upper lip one. Not the face one. We're going to use that one. And we're going to just, since we already did the upper lip, just say just apply that one. Okay we're good to go now we just got to hook uh, these things up let's see if this will work what kind of a sneer am I going to have I'll slip that vertex and just grab it well that's pretty good well look all right now see those if I if I really go extreme you, you never put your thing up but let's let's, let's do it in extreme just show you we need to pop back into weight paint and fix those weights that's what that is this is too much in on this line here okay yeah, not a not a big deal so let, let's uh, pop back into object mode remember I did the shape key just so to snap these babies back and we're gonna go back in and fix that way paint. Alright, so we have too much going up here. So we want to soften this up a little bit. And you can lighten it up. You, you, you could use a lighten brush too. You, you don't have to. Let's just subtract a little. A little would be that. And And here it was kind of crunching one it. So let's take let's take it just a little, a little off there. It'll crunch up here a little bit more. And there was some things there on your lattice if you uh, uh, put those things there in the edit mode. It'll, Okay, see that one didn't have any weight on it at all, so I put a little weight on that one. Oops, I'm subtracting, I need to add. And that had enough weight to even show very much here. Okay, that's the lattice. some of these areas so let's add a little in here oops I added too much in there get, get in edit mode there and and select that one there and just copy they gotta find 
the right tool. Bopping around here, I'm sorry. There you go. Just copy and that copies that weight. That takes care of all that. And I'm just trying to paint this up a little bit so that it uh, gets this is just, you know, watching, watching the, the paint is just kind of crazy. improve on that. I mean, you know, it doesn't look all that bad from the front except for this. So we want that vertex is in there. Okay. And that shape key is going to come in handy. And we're just going to Crank that value up and now select that mesh and go in the weight paint. And that keeps that thing up. So now I can kind of picture what I want to really want to do. So what, what am I looking at? I'm looking at these things not doing what they're supposed to. They're bad vertexes. <laughs> kind of trailing off here. Kind of get tired. We're gonna add. Eh, I'll turn my strength down a little bit. Let's see if we can add just on there. See that pop that up there a little bit. See what I'm doing? I'm just adding some more weight. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that one there. Oops. Got that there. I may clean these a little bit too. I'm going over here to vertex mode here and I'm going to select that. I got one bad boy there I want to paint. There he goes. Get, get your butt up there. Okay. Yeah, you could play around with that. Now remember, we're, we're at extremes here. So, let's push these up just a little. Maybe a little bit more. Push that one up. Whoop, went too far. You can subtract half that. See, now we're at point 0.1. And this is typical weight painting. I mean, you know, if you do this enough, you get pretty good at this. About halfway. And about halfway. Okay, now what's that look like? Oh, it's not too bad. I'm still not sure I like this one. Just push this one up. That's taking it off. Now we want to add. I add so much that I get fix something I don't need to be fixing. See what I'm doing? Just very carefully adding this up so it looks decent. Now we're in an extreme position, remember that. So, but if it looks good in extreme, it'll look good when you move it because you never move your lip up that high. Okay, that's good enough. Object mode, your lattice, and turn off your shape key. And that value back to zero. Nicely. All right. Say, I think I'm ready. We'll give it a try. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to have a bone here. Just going to select that bone. Chip D. I'm just going to move it down here somewhere. Always move your bones and get them positioned before you do your lattice. If you if you have done your lattice and then you move the bone, you're impacting the mesh, no matter what you think. So, then you'll have to start over. Ugh. This is a long tutorial. I apologize. You know, you're sitting here watching me weight, weight paint, which is crazy. But, um, okay.
So we got a bone here called Cheek 1001. Don't like that name, do you? No, I don't like that name either. We need to change that name to something more useful. How about upper lip L? Put this in lowercase. Upper lip nail. That's what you're sweating. I feel your pain when you were there. And um, since that's going to be paring it to the head, you can go check your. Yeah, see, that's fine. So we've told the mesh. Here's a. Uh, here's an area. We made a bone, and then we said, "Okay, mesh. Here's here's a uh, lattice." And then the lattice, we kind of move the weight paint around, and now we need to hook the bone to the lattice. So uh, we go into lattice, and we say, "Okay." Uh, Mr. Lattice, I don't know why they don't put it in Lattice, they put it under modifiers, but we need a hook for you. And the object is armature, and this time the bone is upper lip dot L. Okay. Notice you have a vertex group in there as well. You can use that to finer refine it. But here, what we want to do is we want to take that particular point and just assign that to the bone. Reset. I think that'll do her. Let's get into your lattice. Same thing. You know, we're just kind of repeating the stuff. Maybe not in the same order. I mean, you know, my brain ain't that smart. Uh, did that it would be a boring world. I don't want that shape key anymore but I might want a new one. So let's see what we got here. We assign that upper lip and how about that we got a, oh, I, I, I don't have real good weight painting there. Maybe when I do the lip I need two, let's assign two and see what that looks like. What the heck are you doing to me? This is what you do. You, you play with this stuff. You know, it's fun. That's what we're doing. We're playing. How about, what if I sign both of them? Might have taken that off. But maybe it's too strong. Okay. see what happens now. It's still gonna move the same. It's just gonna you're gonna it's gonna go up slower. There, there's a nice little sneer. Okay. So you've got this one, these vertexes moving quicker than this one, so you'd put a little more white paint on these. Um, So we want to put just a little bit. We want to add just a smidge. This is called smidgen now. We can pull one. That's good. Or we could take it off the bottom. It's not very much. And you, you 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 know you can go into the white paint mode and uh, with your armature and move that as well. So okay, that's getting there. I'm getting there. I didn't do the lower lip. That's just a model you're seeing this. So you would want. 
maybe a little more on this particular line here a little more there so you might want to put a little gradient on there it's not too bad right there see we haven't done anything other than just pop that lattice in there and, and again if you get in an ex extreme position remember all the bones we said whatever it is uh, we're going to leave it when we click those boxes so now uh, get this off here and let's kind of see see you've got more on this one so let's subtract just a little bit what's that look like okay maybe add a little there whoops got that in the back there now that made zero weights there so we don't want zero those are zero you can't see them but they're there and so this weight thing up here you can clean you say get rid of my zero weights or you can actually put a value how about point Oh five. I clean up the real, real tiny ones. Okay, and keep single. If 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 you wanted a vertex group to have that vertex, even when you clean it, if it has zero weights but it doesn't go anywhere, here you're not going to worry about it because I know that uh, when I did the uh, head, I did the whole head and then I did the jaw, so I know we're not going to have that issue. But in case you did have that issue. Uh, you can use clean to kind of fix that okay so that's kind of not too bad a snare there is it kind of weird looking one but uh, yeah that's uh, I may have done that reverse yeah that's like that one and that one now getting the weight paint and use this to kind of so you could get pretty good definition that's not bad it's not great uh, you know and and I'm half the strength if you don't like half the strength you know how to go back into your lattice and change that on the, the hook save you from having to put on those all those limit things on bones say so I can just kind of maybe maybe this there so you get pretty good now you got this one over here you can play with as well so let's kind of move the cheek up a little maybe a little more and we're just posing now that's what you think of the tutorial sheesh my model hates me my model hates me I don't have a camera in there but you could render that out and see what it looks like that's it I hope that helps you because uh, I know you at this point you're probably doing these shape keys and you're like man that's exciting that works good then you get in there and you do it and you say well you know God, there's so many vertices that I gotta figure out how to weight paint. I'm going crazy. And weight painting is slow. Let me tell you, it is slow. There's a nice little sneer for you. Okay, maybe we'll stick a camera in here so we can render it and some lights. And let's put a little, how about a little sunlight in there of some sort and you know, I'll put that over it on this guy and uh, maybe a camera. And I don't have any uh, material on him. I don't think. And um, see what that looks like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
nice little sneer there and that came out nice lattice nice thing to use simple to use once you get onto it put that in your weaponry it's a cage deformer a different type anyway I hope this helps you we need a lot of young people coming up younger people younger I said 40 50 you give you an idea how old I am that's real young to me <laughs> so anyway, keep at it you know uh, uh, that's the whole thing so I'm gonna stop that